Hello, Andrew Ivory here. Going to do another quick video and add a couple more things to help keep your guitar in tune that may work but won't cost you any money. Uh, you know, so I'm going to go over all the issues and the fixes. So, number one, let's just start with the bridge. You can see that this the strings come up and they go over the bridge here. Obviously, lubricating every single one of these is going to help. I use a pencil to do that. But this angle right here coming off the bridge can be an issue. And you can see that angle is pretty severe. And when it's that severe, you know, the possibilities of it binding here really multiply. They start to go up. So the repair I did on this one, you can see that that angle is not as severe as the other one. And how I did that is I top loaded the strings instead of going underneath. So you can see, look at that angle and look at that angle. Obviously, this one is not nearly as severe as, as the black Les Paul custom. But you know, let's face it, a lot of the issues deal with the nut up here. Well, I mean, they deal with any, any place where the string is coming contact. You take the string off and you just rub a little pencil in there. And that lubricates it. This is graphite. Another issue is the angle. The angle of the strings coming off the nut is like 14, 17 degrees. That is going to cause your strings to bind on your nut. So you have to try to level that out a little bit. And how you do that You see how I got the string coming off the top of the peg on this guitar? That's what I want you to try. Because the difference in that angle is quite amazing from coming off the bottom of that peg are winding off the top. But it's, you know, it's also really important, I think, to have at least three wraps around your tuning peg. You know, I mean, so that's also important. So at least three wraps. You can see this one. I achieved that by the first wrap. Let me see if I can get... The first wrap is going under the string, and the next two are going over the top. Now, if you could get a fourth wrap on there, that would probably be even better. But the whole thing is you want to get that string coming off the top of that tuning peg. And do it on all, every single one of the tuning pegs. Another thing that you need to do... If you have a nut right here at the end of your tuning pegs, you need to tighten that up. You, everyone has a nut right there. You need to check if that is loose. You need to do that to make sure both are stable. Of course, this guitar only it doesn't have the screw on that. But most, most of them do. So... Those are the things you can do to fix your guitar. You know, like the first one I did, I put the string butler on this one, but I also did all the other repairs that I mentioned. And this Les Paul stain is staying rock solid in tune. So I'm going to do the repairs on that other Les Paul and see if 
they stay in tune without without the uh, string butler. Anyway, I'll get back with you on video two of fixing the Les Paul custom. And Driver signing off. Please subscribe to my site. It really helps. Number one, let me know that I'm reaching people. And please hit the like button. And Driver signing off. Have a beautiful day.